Well, the government's intention is to bring Parliament closer to the people, but we didn't necessarily think that the fixed-term Parliament bill did that, because although it's supposed to create a situation in which you have regular Parliaments and the timing of them aren't in the hands of the Prime Minister, we didn't necessarily think that the way this bill has been framed would achieve that. The committee raised the contrast between the government's aim, as you say, which is to, to bring Parliament closer to the people, and the effect which would be to reduce the frequency of elections. Can you explain why the committee were concerned by this? Well, the proposal in the bill is that there should be elections every five years so that we know that we're going to have an election now in 2015, for example. But, of course, if you look at the history, since 1945, there have been 18 general elections in this country. And the average length of time for each parliament is about three years and ten months, much less than five years. And in most countries where they have fixed-term parliaments, the length of time which is set is four years. So most of us felt that four years would be a much better way of achieving the government's aim.